Hi, well, welcome to Ships and Shipping, coming to you from the Port of Felixstowe today on a Wednesday, and it is, heavens, the 18th of October 2023. So there we have it, that's the mighty MSC Turkey alongside at Felixstowe right now. Um, there we go, let's get rid of that title for you. That's a bit better shot. So, as you can see, nothing much happening. The cranes, ships ashore cranes, have been moving, but at the moment they're not going up or down. And I'm just trying to work out whether the crane right at her back end is uh, actually operating or not. I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. Um, so, we'll see what's happening to her, I guess, later in the day, hopefully later in the day, um, to see whether she's actually working any boxes or not. It's an interesting one, isn't it? It's always a bit of an interesting thing on big ships made in course. You don't know what they actually have on board. I tend to think that the lines will put boxes on them, whatever, uh, because you must have a new ship looking completely empty. <laughs> I guess that's the truth. But uh, the trade, as far as the um, container shipping lines is concerned, is not particularly good. Um, they're, they're having issues with filling their ships up, especially as they keep putting on bigger and bigger ships. One of the things you'll notice about Turkey is that, like the rest of her sisters in this particular class of ships, she doesn't have a very visible um, bulb. Her bulb is actually kind of built into her bow somewhat. You can find about uh, some pictures of her online that show um, the bow well out of the water when she was in the shipyard, and uh, you'll notice that the the ball was effectively back in her in her bow, as opposed to standing out very far from her bow, unlike the uh, other bulbs. The reasoning being, apparently, is that this ship is somewhat slower, as we all know, uh, and she doesn't need the bulb in the same position, I guess you'd say. There you have it. Okay, what we're going to do is um, tinker off and do some other work. Now, we may come back and see if she's getting some work done on board later in the day. Hopefully, stuff will be happening. But she isn't scheduled to go out until Friday, as far as I can see. And we will update you when we get uh, firm details on that one. So, there you have it. This is Ships and Shipping. I'm Chris, and we will see you jolly soon. Take care now.